Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. You can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you were watching this video, you likely have an iPhone with a LiDAR scanner. Probably at this point, the iPhone 12. But if you're watching this in maybe like a year from now, maybe you're watching it on an iPhone 13. And in that case, how is it? Is it awesome? I'm pretty excited about it. Anyway, back to the LiDAR scanner. You may be wondering what the heck that LiDAR scanner is, what you can do with it, and how do you use it? We're gonna explore all of that in this video. So LiDAR usually stands for Light Detection and Ranging. There are a few other acronyms that are used, but that is the most common one. And it's basically that little black dot there on the back of your iPhone 12 or your future iPhone 13. And they're using that to cast out light and then measuring the distance of how long it takes to get back to detect how far away an object is. Now that can be used for a bunch of different purposes. And in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, three or four main uh, ways to use that LiDAR scanner. First up, and this is the one that you're not gonna notice as much, like you can't like see it as much, but that is going to be the cameras on your iPhone. That's right, by using the LiDAR scanner, the iPhone is able to detect how far away something is and adjust the focus for that. It is particularly useful in low light situations where your camera may not get a great kind of quick image of where everything is and how in focus something is because it's a little more grainy. So they're able to use the LiDAR scanner to detect how far away it is and then focus quicker in those low light situations. So you may not see the LiDAR actually being used, but you will notice faster photos if you're coming from an older iPhone in those situations. Another use for that LiDAR scanner is the Measure app. Of course, we just talked about how it's able to kind of get distances of things and it's able to improve the augmented reality capabilities of the Measure app. A few things you can do with that. Of course, you can measure the distances on your walls from point to point. You can create shapes and get areas, stuff like that. And it's all accurate or more accurate thanks to the LiDAR scanner than it is on previous iPhones that still had that Measure app. Additionally, there's also a nice feature that you can do by just holding up your phone in the Measure app to a person and getting the height of that person. It's very cool, and at least in our testing, it works pretty darn well. So that is the Measure app and the Photography app, but there are other ways that you can use this too using third-party applications. Uh, one that we used in our demo here is the Canvas Pocket 3D Room Scanner. And it does kind of what it sounds like. It basically scans your room using the LiDAR scanner, getting a 3D model of it. And you can even use that to turn it into a CAD drawing if you wanted to. So that app that I mentioned there, you can actually submit it and they'll send back a CAD drawing, which is really amazing that you can do that. But so here we are, I'm just gonna, I use this in my kitchen. We just took this and I moved it up and down in a grid and went entirely 360 of the room and it captured this layout. And you can see all the different versions of it, so it's adding imaging as well as the LiDAR scanning stuff to create this composite image, this 3D model of the room. So if you are going through houses or just your house, you wanna kind of lay out things, and there's future uses of this of being able to kind of design your house with LiDAR and 3D and stuff like that. It's an amazing ability. Now you can see here with this and the enhanced view and you can even get measurements, like I can look at my kitchen island and I can measure actually how large that uh, butcher block top is. Very nice to do. Uh, but you can also do objects. So Canvas, I believe, can do 3D objects. It just doesn't work as well. It seems more designed for rooms, the 3D room scanner uh, versus objects. But you can actually scan objects using LiDAR and get 3D scans of them and bring them into your phone and create um, AR images that you can share around using like the USDZ files. It's it's so cool the stuff that you can do that way. Now, if you're looking at shopping apps, there's ways you can use LiDAR here as well, again, for augmented reality. Now, these augmented reality things worked before without LiDAR, but LiDAR just makes them more accurate and better. So you're definitely gonna notice a difference coming from an iPhone 11 or earlier to the iPhone 12 and later with that LiDAR scanner. If you're looking at things like uh, you know Amazon or Wayfair or a bunch of other shopping apps, uh, you can actually view those things in your room before you buy them. So they're able to actually see your room, calculate distances and put them in the appropriate scale right there into your room. It's a fantastic experience and way cooler to be able to buy something like a couch or a beanbag uh, to see it in your room before you actually click on that buy button. 
So that's the LiDAR scanner on the iPhone 12 and later, as well as even the iPad. There's quite a few things you can do, though it may not be as useful right now as it will be in the future. But stay tuned, I'm sure Apple and a lot of other people have plans for that LiDAR scanner going into future iPhone models and future versions of iOS. So even if it doesn't do a ton right now, I'm sure it will soon enough.